Hello and welcome to Cliff Reviews Art House. This time I'm reviewing Chevalier, directed by Stephen Williams. So this is one of those films that tells a really interesting story that I didn't previously know. So if nothing else, this film is really important for spreading awareness of the 18th century composer Joseph Bologna. Bologna was a very talented person of colour, musician, composer, fencer. He rose almost to take the most important music role in France before falling again. He then embraced the egality of the French Revolution and rose again. This is as far as the film takes us, but in real life, he fell again as the result of Napoleon eventually trying to wipe him out of history. So I enjoyed learning about Bologna and then reading more about him afterwards. And the film is a most entertaining watch. The music's really good and provides an accompaniment for most of the film. In many ways, it's impossible not to compare it to Amadeus. Interestingly, Mozart appears in this film at the beginning in a kind of violin face-off between the two. I loved this scene and I actually think it's the best bit of the film. Overall, the film was very entertaining and I was involved in the story but I would say that it all felt a little bit light. The film gets all of the racial politics right, and in this regard, at times it has almost a contemporary feel to it. Bologna feels like a modern 18th century French society classical musician. I think this all works well, but it never develops beyond being entertaining. It's a great story and it feels like it could have been told with greater depth. It almost felt like it could be screened as a TV film. Comparing it with Amadeus, I think Amadeus had much more of an epic, classic feel to it. I haven't seen it for many years, but I do remember the scenes where we get a real sense of Mozart's genius as he hears the music in his head. We're always aware of Bologna's genius in Chevalier, but we don't feel it. Overall, I found this an entertaining way to spend an hour and 50 minutes. Kelvin Harris Jr. is great as Chevalier. He brings a lot of personality to the part. And as I say, a contemporary feel whilst never feeling out of place. Chevalier is definitely worth watching, but for entertainment, rather than really getting any insight into the creative process of a genius who existed in a very difficult political period. Thanks for watching. See you next time.